Legopolis. It was the end, and the moment had been prepared for. The last serial in season 18, and the end of the whole Fourth Doctor era. Hello. Today I'm going to review this serial, so let's start with a bit of background. The writer of the story, and script editor for the rest of the series, Christopher H. Bidmead, was keen to introduce more hard sci-fi concepts to the show. The change with a fresh beginning, and new producer, John Nathan Turner, wanted to introduce many new elements to the series. But first, he wrote off long-term characters Romana Zavatilunda and K-9. With Legopolis being the last story in the series, John Nathan Turner wanted a returning character to help transition between Baker and Professor Davidson. Elizabeth Slade and Louise Jameson were asked to return to their respective roles as Leela and K-9. Unfortunately, they both declined. So it was decided to reintroduce Nyssa, supporting character from the previous story, The Keeper of Tarkin, and a full-time traveller alongside the Doctor and Adric. In, an in addition to Nyssa, air hostess Tegan Joe Banker was brought in as a companion, as well for the first time in this story. So, the air of the crowded TARDIS had begun. But, what is Legopolis like as a story? I happen to think it's a very nice science fiction tale with some relevant concepts, especially the ongoing theme of entropy, which culminated in the entropy of the Fourth Doctor at the end. It was also the first full appearance of Anthony Amy as a master. He gives a good, albeit a little hammy, performance. There are some silly bits. For example, most of episode 1 was pointless, with Tegan and her aunt arguing on the, in the car on the way to Heathrow. However, it also sets up the ongoing arc throughout the serial of the Watcher, a mysterious white figure who stalks the Doctor and reunites Nyssa with the Doctor. This goes on all throughout Logopolis, but the serial really gets good when the team arrive on the planet Logopolis itself and meet the Monitor who shows them a replica of the Pharos project. This leads on to the brilliant concept of block transfer computation, whereby one creates a solid object merely by muttering complex mathematical equations. When the master closes a charged vacuum embodiment on Legopolis, shit goes down, and in order to save the universe, the Doctor must team up with the master. This makes for an awesome low-key cliffhanger to part 3. The master and the Doctor use light speed overdrive and help stabilize the charged vacuum embodiments, but the master betrays the Doctor and broadcasts a ransom message to the universe. In order to save the universe from the entropy the master is about to unleash through the charged vacuum embodiment, the Doctor climbs the Faroth project and is able to sacrifice himself to unplug the power cable. Although it is not as heroic as some of the other Doctor's demises, the Fourth Doctor still falls to his death in order to save the universe from entropy. As the Fourth Doctor lies dying on the ground, he has a brilliant flashback scene in which he envisions all of his companions from his era saying his name. The Watcher then advances towards... forwards, and Nyssa realises that the Watcher is actually an entity of the Doctor. The Watcher and the Doctor join together to complete the transformation and create the Fifth Doctor. So, all in all, the Goblins achieves the goal of Season 18, and uses hard sci-fi concepts and says farewell to the Fourth Doctor. Though it isn't as fitting an ending as I would like, it's still a good story and some nice ongoing themes. Thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please hit like and subscribe to my channel to see more. Okay, thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.